This game or this game is free, blah, blah, blah. So this game apparently had some issues um, with Warhammer. With, uh, uh, I think it's called Gaming Workshop owns them. Forgive me, I'm still new to Warhammer. Uh, let me make sure it's getting caught. Yeah. All right, you're going away, Lily, because you just made me lose it laughing. There we go. Um, so basically, from what I understand, Workshop had a, an issue with the original name for this. I believe this is Inquisitor Trainer. I might be wrong, though. I think it is. The developer of this actually contacted me, asking me to do a Let's Play. And I like that, so yes. Tarantula Bay. Shit, I'm still on this garden world. I think that's a different game. Do you think people will believe you now that you put in the music? Hopefully, because it's it goes in and out during that episode. Every time I think I'm going to wake up on a ship heading to the closest system in conflict, I wake up and there would be nothing. Turin Tarantula Bay, Imperial Training Facility. Here I train noble offsprings that were sent to the military service. Okay, I don't think this is Inquisitor Trainer. I think this is just another one. Here they became officers of either Navy or the Hammer of the Emperor, the Imperial Guard. I didn't like the place from the moment I set foot from the ob orbital transporter. After some time here, I passed a request for transfer somewhere closer to the front lines to the real soldiers. I got the approval and was waiting for the directions. God, I gotta take my pants off at some point. I'm here for a year now, waiting for a mission, getting softer. Every day, I stay in this little haven of a planet, I get weaker. And every day, enemies of humanity wreak havoc on Imperial worlds, they get stronger. I wanted a mission. And the Emperor be pleased they gave me one. Well, we know the rules, guys. Okay, so I don't think this is Inquisitor Trainer, but I'm not sure. This is, again, called Battle Sisters. So once again, thank you to the developer for sending this to me. Transmission from Ecclesia su Subofficium. Look, I got one of the words. Give me some, some... Newly promoted drill, Abbot Anon. Accept your orders. Let me know, by the way, how the audio is. I just moved my mic. You are to be seconded to Sisterhood Order of Pious Lily. What? Lily? Is that an a- I have no idea if that's an actual one. Combat Detachment Board cru Aboard Cruiser Vengeful Abatus as an instructor and spiritual guide. Aboard the cruiser, you'll go under command of Order Mistress and her subordinates, such as Sister Superiors and above. The cruiser will soon depart to Yermo- God damn Warhammer. Yermolink Prime to assist in cleansing the planet. Everything goes on fire, motherfucker. Be vigilant. Seek out those who are weak and turn them on the right path. Make them worthy servants of the Emperor. May his light guide you. So people have actually asked, including the uh, developers of um, Postal 4, how I do that. And why I can do that. That's actually not very hard for me to do that with my voice. I've uh, been able to do that for a very long time, the computer thing. But apparently people still think um, I'm using a computer program. No, I can do this. You just have to know where to put the pauses and you can do a computer voice. It's not that hard. End of transmission. Nope, this is a different game. I still like this one. Anything more, Hammer? This... This is Vengeful Abatus, existing the... Exiting the... Imatrium. Ensign's... Ensign's report. Fuck it. Ship's integral... Integrity. Within normal parameters, breaches re registered none. Geller field status. Designating repairs needed in sectors none. End of report. I do love the artwork. The artwork's really good. And so it begins. The ship already reached its designation at 
and orbiting the planet, but you still have a haven't got any orders, and waiting for them may get tiresome. Time passes, but no one reaching out. But no one's reaching out for you. No orders come, as if the ship didn't come here for war. What's taking them so long? Bored with waiting, you're wandering huge long halls, checking that all the purity seals are intact, and chanting holy texts along the way. Sometimes you come across a servitor or two doing their work. Aside from your chanting, the halls are pretty silent. No sisters or other e ecclesiard staff are to be seen. Again, forgive me, I'm still learning a lot of the uh, Warhammer stuff, so it's going to be new to me. After some time, you notice that chanting for so long got you carried away and wandered you into the depths of the ship. Can I just say, and I think I want the chat's thoughts on this, the background art for this is really fantastic. And so are the little border things. But I don't know who did the artwork for this, like the background art, but it looks really, really good and professional. We have Lily and now Purity. We are officially part of Warhammer. Confirmed. Oh my god, Lily as a battle sister would be great. A sister of battle would be great. Area around looks unfamiliar and desolated. The place is dark and seems to be designed only for maintenance crew use. Mechanical noises are heard here and there. You got lost. All right, so we have our first area. Let's uh, let's chant some more. Holy lit litanies echo through this place as you chant as you chant them piously. Looking for a way back, you start to cluelessly wander around. After some hours of walking dark, narrow corridors, you feel like you're only going deeper into maintenance areas. Walkways are getting tighter on every turn, machinery around getting louder. As you look around, you start to realize that in a few corners, this journey will end up in the, in the rooms where only servitors can dwell. You are not scared, for you are zealous, for you are a zealous servant of his holy will, but you are a little confused by the situation. You're not very smart. You sit down on the nearest ledge, bulging from the wall to think for a moment. Hmm. Who, who, who is texting me? Stop texting me, you monsters. Is that Bosco? It's Bosco. Hold on. I gotta invite Bosca. So, really quickly, my chat room. My loves. You guys have pets, and what kind of pets do you guys have? No, don't cut it out. I feel bad leaving it in, though. Thank you. Uh, he's a- he's the sweetest- I've- I've never- I've never seen a- I guess they call them tiger cats. His name is Tiger Baby. I've never seen a tiger cat that big. Like, I- if he's okay, I'll take a picture of him. Like, I'm hoping he's gonna be okay, they think they can save him. He's a big old tiger cat, like this monster cat. I've never seen a tiger that big. And he, you can just carry him around. You can hold him upside down. You can just scratch his ear and he does like the dog thing where he scratches his back paw. He's, he's, he's such a bizarre little cat, but I love him. And just the six-toed thing is so weird. He's got like these big old bear paws. So I like to, um, because he doesn't have claws in the front. So I like to, um, I like to grab his paws and just move him around. And he just lets me do it. Because I, you know, I have to check his paws to make sure he's okay anyway. Because my grandma doesn't see too well. But he's a big old baby. He's like a big old baby. You have a cute little dog? Oh, man. What kind of puppy dog is it? You see a pump mechanism in front of you. Decorated with dozens of wax seals of, with holy text. As you have not much to do at the moment, you think that a little blessing will do no harm. But you didn't bless anything for some time anyway. You come closer to the mechanism. See, the only thing I'm worried about with the cat thing is if any, if, look, if uh, Taggy doesn't pull through, I, I'm probably gonna have to get a new cat for my grandma because, um, well, you know, she's got my grandpa, but I don't know. I think she's gonna want another cat, so I get to get her a new kit cat. So I'll probably get her. I don't know, maybe a black kitty cat. I don't think she's had one yet. She usually likes tiger cats, though. And this is the first tiger cat that didn't try to kill me. Up until, you know, last night. 
But you guys should have seen my arm. My arm's like in bandages right now. You can hear it. I just smacked the bandages. Because it was swollen up because I had to sit at the vet for three hours without any medicine. Because I'm actually allergic to cat bites. So my arm is like huge. It's swollen up. And the nurse at the vets is like, are you okay? I'm like, no, I'm just going to die. <laughs> She's like, you want some bandages? I'm like, that would be great. Thank you very much. He really jumped down too. Do not doubt you only... Do, do not doubt. You only blessing a pump. Some minutes pass while you while you give prayers and bless the seals and that machine. Suddenly, an ominous figure appears out of the dark, frantically swinging its hands. Oh, hey, look, it's Robe. It's Mossy. Ouch. Yeah, but a Chinese crested chihuahua? Is it... It sounds like it's a... I've never seen that before. Yeah, I know Chinese... So it's a mix. Oh. I'll have to check the pet section to see if you put a picture of it. I love pets. I love everybody that has pets. Forgive me. What in the machine's god's name are you doing, filthy mateling? Stop blasphemizing my machines. These are my machines. I'm just blessing this pump. I'm blessing this pump. Mechanical inhale. Hopefully that works. Oh, made myself dizzy. What? How dare you defile this glorious piece of machinery with your ignorance? Are you doubting my capability at blessing things? I am an abbot, so you know. Mechanical inhale. I hope you enjoyed that stupidity. I don't know. I don't know what that was anymore. I don't know. My sanity left a while ago. Why are you people watching me? No, I'm not doing it again. You guys are going to actually make me dizzy. Oh my god, we broke the toaster. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got to torture one of our one of our patrons. We're going to say we broke the fucking toaster. This is this is why these things should not be fucking toasters. Hold on. I got to I got to tell Mossy not to fuck a toaster now. I am a good good creator and I treat my fans with utter respect. You cannot bless that pump or anything else here. This is my job, my holy privilege and calling. You beep 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 I don't know what to make. My Vox Spinalis has broke. His voice sounded quiet and utterly emotionless. Oh now it doesn't. I hate you. There are 38 kilometers of logic, of logica enhancing wires that fill my cr cranium. Beep beep. <laughs> if the word hate was engraved on each nano, fuck you. Na 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 na. Not even gonna try it. Something of those dozens of kilometers, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate. I feel for you at this micro instant. Just show me the way to the main deck. After some trailing through maintenance halls, the mysterious person got you to the main deck. You are on operations bridge. From here, command staff coordinates ground units and distir distributing their forces where they are needed all over the planet. As an abbot, you have a limited access to the to main operations con console on the far end of the bridge. Why not inspect it? Oh my god, it's one of those floating skulls that I love so much. I want one of those so badly. Mine. I love these little floating skulls. I forgot what they're called. Where are, where are my fucking Warhammer people? Oh, cool. All right. Let's see what I have access to. Huh? Individual combat statistics, sermon schedules, repent rates, 
Hmm. Servo skulls, that's what they're called. Observant model. I want a little I want an observer skull. With controls too. Why is why have they not made one, I wonder? Alright, let's see what we have. Oh. Uh, oh, it's a chick. I know what voice you're getting. I'm inspecting the bath chambers. I'm just pressed the wrong button. I'm not obliged to answer you. I'm inspecting the bath chambers. Yeah, there you go, titties. I need to I need to see if I can put my own icons on here. You totally should not you totally should not- Oh! You totally should not inspect it while it's in use by sisters. Why does she have it on her tit? In fact, it looks like you're peeping on the sisters while they are naked, and that is absolutely unacceptable. I should probably report you to the can canoness for such behavior. Tits are temporary, the god emperor is forever. I'm sorry, but it's now the god empress. I am your god empress. I would love fan art of Lily or one of the girls as the God Empress. But we will get to that later. There are more pressing matters at hand. I was looking for you, for I'm in need of your aid as an abbot. It is for the Empress, yes. No, you save. You save. You use that button. Ready for orders. What can I do for a pretty lady? Well, you can call me Anon. What can I do for such a pretty lady? End with your pleasantries and answer according to regulations, else I'll hang you for insubordination. My name is Valentina, Valentina Sister Superior of Sister Squad 34. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine, Zero. It's, it's actually I did that so I could see how long the delay is. You can address me only as ma'am. So happens that one of my subordinates, sisters, Eveline is ill-subordinated. Even despite my strict regulations, she keeps disobeying orders. The only reason I didn't court-martial or send her to the Repentance Corp is that she's a faithful and promising warrior, a worthy zealot. But that made her even bolder. I hate this voice, by the way. As an abbot, you must make her obedient to every word of her superiors. And remember, guys, it's only $5. Come on. It's only $20. What is wrong with you? If you can afford lunch, you can afford to get me lunch for this fat booty. Thank you to the person that just requested that. In the, through the Discord. Please don't do it again. This time use Streamlabs if you want to do that. She's a tool of the Emperor, and as such, she must be worthy in her doings. For no matter how good she is, what use of it if she can't follow orders? As long as she can point to a Xeno and flame broil it, what does it matter? I authorize you to take her under your command and do whatever needed to bring her to a subordinative state of mind. Please tell me this game will be included as a Patreon vid. Everything you see today will be a Patreon vid, and the edited versions, of course, will be on YouTube and stuff. So yes, every Saturday's Patreon stream will be on the Patreon, probably later that day or Sunday or whenever I update the, you know, the videos for the week. Um, I'll be doing this hopefully every Saturday, bar, you know, issues of either me being sick or an emergency. So don't worry. This is a thank you to all patrons, and because of you guys, I'm doing this on here. So thank you to all you supporters. You will be done. Not saying anything bad, but I can't. I don't eat lunch. <laughs> no, Zero! Go eat. It's. I can't yell at you. I don't eat lunch either. I usually only eat once a day. I have little snacks throughout the day. Like, I'll, I'll pick it some fruit and stuff. Which I can't do right now. I can't eat the... I can't eat the pineapples I bought. Because I burnt the top of my mouth. Your job is to take Sister Eveline under your command. She should be in her squad's chambers now. The door to the far right leads to the crew quarter section on this deck. Your residence is there is also there. For now, it'll take you to Evangel Ev Eveline's place. Take that door, Abbot. Look, I will click on every door because I'm stupid. For a fat booty, five hundred goo. Thank you. Hey, maybe we'll be able to afford that <laughs> that Raphael statue eventually. I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna let that joke go, I swear to god. It would be cool to get that statue, though. You enter the crew quarters and see dozens of sisters here and there and all over the place. 
And as a bitch, I'm going to end it here, and we'll do more next Saturday. So we're going to move on to the next game. So guys, these are... I'm going to do Bayonetta soon, but I'm going to jump. You guys have requested so many games. Mm, we'll do...